Hello friends welcome to Total Recaps. Today we are going to explain thriller slash drama movie titled Special 26 which was released in 2013. This whole true story is based on a huge robbery that took place in Mumbai city of India on March 19, 1987, so sit down with popcorn and enjoy this interesting film. At the beginning of the movie we are introduced to four CBI officers Ajay, Mr. PK Sharma, Joginder, and Iqbal and here Ajay calls the police station as he has to raid a minister's house today. That's why he asks the police officer to bring four male constables and one lady constable with him. In the next scene, we see Ajay meeting with senior inspector Ranveer Singh and his team and from here they all go to the minister's house. But the personal assistant of the minister starts trying to stop the CBI team. But here Mr. PK slaps him hard. Due to which even the ministers are scared of the CBI officer. After this the CBI team searches the entire house and they find black money from many places, like under the temple, from the ceiling, from the almirah, and even under the seat of the minister's car and the CBI raid remains successful. But when the CBI team starts leaving, the minister tries to bribe them. But Officer PK Sharma gets very angry with the minister as well and then after that he comes to Inspector Ranveer Singh and asks him to stay there with his team. But here we all notice a shocking thing that the whole CBI team comes to some strange place and changes its whole look, and here we come to know that the raid conducted by CBI at the minister's house is a scam. It was fake raid. After this Ajay, PK Sharma, Joginder, Iqbal all four take money with them and go to their real houses. On the other hand, Inspector Rundir was trying to contact the CBI officer, but his phone was not working and then he realizes that he was not the real CBI officer. Now in the next scene the movie shifts to Joginder and the date was January 28, 1987. Here Joginder goes to his home reading the newspaper and calls Ajay in Mumbai to tell him that nothing has been published about us in any newspaper and Ajay tells this to PK Sharma in Chandigarh and Iqbal in Jaipur. Means all four had gone to different cities and here we come to know that PK Sharma's daughter's wedding is also in a few days. In the next scene, Ajay sees Priya living in his neighborhood whom he loves a lot, and she also loves Ajay a lot. But Priya's family members fixed her marriage with Tikaram and also prepared wedding cards for their marriage. After this, the scene shifts to the minister's house where the ACP inspector takes Ranveer along and apologizes to the minister and at the same time, Ranveer and his partner Shanti suspended. But here the ministers do not file any police complaint because they also knew that all that money was black money. But from here Inspector Ranveer and his partner Shanti decide to investigate this case on their own. Now after this PK Sharma marries his daughter with great fanfare. In which his other three friends were also present. After marriage Ajay gives some money and a flight ticket to PK Sharma to come to Kolkata as their next mission was to rob a jewelry shop in Kolkata. Then we are introduced with the real CBI officer Wasim Khan, who is following a man because the man was a fraud. That's why he kept running away from the CBI officer but eventually got caught and Ranveer and Shanti were also watching this whole matter standing below. Now in the next scene, we are shown a school where Ajay had come to meet Priya Chauhan. Priya is here very angry with Ajay as he has not come to meet her since many days. Priya's marriage is next month. Here Priya tells Ajay that, when will you marry me? So Ajay says, I am just waiting for a big robbery. Hearing this, Priya asks, if you are caught in this robbery, Ajay replies, there is no one born till date who can catch me. After this, the scene directly shifts to the CBI office where suspended Inspector Ranveer had come to seek the help of CBI officer Wasim Khan for the investigation of his case. On the other hand, senior CBI officers were also putting pressure on Wasim Khan to nab the group which conducted fake CBI raids. Now after this Wasim Khan meets Ranveer and Ranveer narrates the whole story of fake CBI. Wasim Khan is quite shocked after hearing this and now he thinks of solving this case with Ranveer. Now since Ranveer had seen all four of them, Wasim asks him to check any of their police records and now all of them together start investigating to solve this case. On the other hand, Ajay, Joginder, Iqbal and Sharma all four have reached Kolkata and after some time they go to a jewelry shop to conduct the fake CBI raid. But here their raid fails because the real CBI team had already raided there. Seeing which PK Sharma got scared but Ajay handled the whole matter and on the pretext of wrong address, he goes to another jewelry shop to raid. 
where they did not find any black money while checking first. But later Ajay notices that there are many pictures of God on the wall, behind which there is a lot of money and even these jewelry shop owners had made a secret room, where a lot of black money is kept. After this, Ajay and his team reach their rental home after getting the jewelers signed and then after some time leave from there to go back to their respective homes. But on the other hand, CBI officer Wasim Khan also gets information about this fake raid of Kolkata. But due to black money, even those jewelers did not want to give any article in the newspaper. But Wasim Khan gets that article published in the next morning's newspaper and then Ajay and Sharma get quite surprised after reading this news. That's why now Ajay thinks and tells Sharma that, now he will execute the biggest and his last robbery in Mumbai, and the same side Ranbir finds out about PK Sharma's police file, from which CBI know where does Sharma G actually live. The next day we see a man from the telephone department arrive at Sharma's house to fix the telephone. But in reality he was not from any telephone department rather he was a secret agent of CBI sent by Wasim Khan who had put a tracker in Sharma's phone on the pretext of checking the phone. On the other hand, Ajay and Priya are now sitting on a beach where Ajay tells her that, they are going to run away and get married soon, because now he is going to do the biggest robbery of his life. Along with this, Ajay also tells Priya that, then after the completion of the raid, both of them will board a flight from the airport on the same afternoon and go to another country. A few days later, Ajay leaves for Mumbai. After reaching there, Ajay first calls Sharma and tells his complete plan and he also tells that, he is staying at a sea castle hotel in Mumbai. But due to the tracker being installed in Sharma's telephone, this news also reaches Wasim Khan and he puts one of his agents behind Sharma and himself leaves for Mumbai. Now the other three friends of Ajay had also left from their home to go to Mumbai. On the other hand, Ajay makes two fake stamps from a shop and then goes to an ad booking center to get an article published for a job in a newspaper. But a one CBI officer is following Ajay and another officer is following Joginder, Iqbal, and Sharma. After some time, CBI officers Wasim and Ranveer also reach Mumbai via flight. After this Wasim takes the complete details of Ajay and his friends from his team and now he has come to know that he went to an ad agency. Ajay has written in the ad that, he needs 50 graduate boys and girls for intelligence and security officer post and Ajay called them all for interview on March 18, 1987 at Sea Castle Hotel. After this Ajay tells his friends that this time he is going to raid Mumbai's biggest jeweler Bhuvan Das Singhania's jewelry shop and his friends become very happy after hearing this. Now after this the next day the newspaper goes to everyone's homes and some unemployed graduating boys and girls come to the hotel to give this interview. Out of these 50 people, Ajay selects only 26 and then Ajay tells them that, after one day we will go to conduct a raid for which you all should be well dressed, well groomed. We'll take a class and then if this raid is successful, then you people's jobs will be taken directly in the CBI department. But here we come to know that two officers of real CBI have also been selected in these special 26. Now after this, Ajay and his friends made fake CBI IDs of the selected 26 people, but when Sharma comes to sleep in his room, CBI officer Wasim and his partners also come out and at Wasim's gunpoint. Sharma tells everything that, where they will go tomorrow and what will they do. Here Sharma also tells the CBI officer that, he was going to raid Mumbai's biggest jewelry shop tomorrow around 3 pm until now we have done 50 such fake raids and now this is just the last one. Here the conversation between the two goes on and Wasim says that, you are just four people and you are doing such a big job, but in response Sharma starts laughing and then pointing to Ranveer, he says that, we four yes, but people like these also help us. Sharma then laughs out loud again and tells Wasim that Ajay always used to say that, there is no human being born till date who can catch him. Here Sharma also tells Ajay's background and says, he wanted to join CBI, he had cleared two steps but was left in the last interview and probably because of this anger, he is now raiding as a fake CBI officer. Now Ajay is having a drink sitting in the hotel at night and then Wasim Khan also comes there. Just like that, both of them start talking and Ajay tells all the fake details about himself to Wasim. After talking for a while, when Ajay started leaving, Wasim threw his 100 rupees on the ground and he asked Ajay that, maybe it is your money that has fallen, and Ajay also leaves from there picking up that money. 
Now after this AJ's entire special 26 team reaches the fake CBI office. Everyone comes here but Sharma comes last, due to which AJ was very upset. Now here PK Sharma takes his special 26 class for 2 hours and then sends them for lunch break. Meanwhile, AJ asks him, what happened? You seem very nervous and today you came very late to the class, to which Sharma replies that, now I am old that's why it happened. On the other hand, the real CBI team reaches Bhuvan Das Singhania jewelry shop, replaces the real gold with fake gold and sends the real gold to the storehouse near Singhania jewelers, and for caught fake CBI team Wasim sets very tight security everywhere. The real CBI team also has a strategy here not to allow any customer to enter the shop at the time and the fake customers inside the shop were also CBI officers. Now Sharma, along with those new 26 officers, sits in the bus and leaves from hotel. But here Ajay changes a bit in the plane and he was coming separately with Joginder and Iqbal. Here Sharma is going towards the jewelry shop with his special 26 when he stops the bus in the middle of the way and tells a boy that, he is coming with Ajay, Joginder and Iqbal after getting some police verification done, and here Sharma tells the bus to go to the jewelry shop where the real CBI. Officers were waiting for the bus. But here Sharma does not go inside the police station but comes to a police inspector asking, where is the cinema hall here? But the police station and cinema hall were just an excuse. Here comes a big twist in the story. Here Runveer takes PK Sharma in his jeep and here we knows that Runveer and Shanti were not police inspectors or any CBI officer but they were also friends of Ajay. Now after this all of them together go to the storeroom of Bhuvan Das where a lot of gold was kept and here these people cut the wire of the mobile phone and take all the gold with them on the pretext of raiding. This was the biggest raid or robbery of AJ's life. By the time the real CBI officer Wasim Khan came to know about this, it was too late and when Wasim Khan came to know that the raid was not here but in the storeroom, then he realized that Runveer was not a police inspector, rather he was cheating them from the beginning. Now in the next scene, we are shown that all four are dividing the entire money among themselves and after that Ajay goes to the airport to meet his girlfriend and then both of them board a flight and go somewhere far away. After this, after several days, CBI officer Wasim Khan receives a letter, in the middle of which there were 100 rupees and this letter was also written by Ajay himself so that he would return the money raised by Wasim in the hotel that night. Now in the last it is shown that all four of them are watching a cricket match with their families, and then suddenly Wasim gets a call that, all four have been found, and after this the movie ends. Thank you so much for watching take care of yourself bye bye.